After 15 years as a journalist, I've learned it's important to grab the reader's attention with a catchy headline. Local woman ruins own life. Five years ago, Nell Serrano threw away a promising career to move to London for a man. Now she's back, and the weird roommate she met on Craigslist is not passive-aggressive at all. I'd like to do a proper kitchen table. There's plenty of places you could eat. Eat in your bedroom, or you could eat on the couch if you put a blanket down. You could even eat in the bathroom if you're a monster. All right. You are late. Oh. But I told everyone that your phone was still set on UK time and that you were donating blood. Okay, so act kind of woozy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Hide me. Yeah, now Lexi is your boss now. What? I know. I'm so sorry. I know that I can be kind of harsh, intense, and attractive. I'm picking it out and I'm breaking it down. So, what are you going to put me on? City B? Crime B? The dead B. Oh, my God. You're putting me on obituaries. Everyone has a story, and it's your job to find it. <laughs> Don't you come any closer, I will kill you. Don't bother. I'm already dead. Oh, my God. You're my obituary. Ta da. Nope, uh-uh, no, I do not see dead people. Are you okay? I just got home and I heard you scream. Fun fact, you're the only one that can see me. No! Yep. No! Yep. No, no! 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 Right. I just don't think writing obituaries is good for my head. I smell gas. The natural deodorant doesn't work. We were the same age. Yeah, except you got old and you died. I know, super sadsies. I thought that I would just come back home and pick back up where I left off, but everything's changed and I feel really disconnected from everyone. I am just a disaster. Oh. The door to the past will close on its own. Unlucky Barta. We're gonna live together. I think it's best that we work on our communication a bit. I'm down with that. It's difficult having a conversation with you when you look like three kids stacked on top of each other trying to sneak into an R-rated movie. Really? Every time we're all a work in progress, and so are our relationships. Look, this is how this is gonna go. You'll follow me around, annoying me for a day or two until I write your obituary. I'll have a mild panic attack about my life, and then you'll move on. I've been in weirder spots. Oh, when I stop talking, it means the meeting is over. See? Oh, that makes it less personal. Still hurtful, though.